So we put the laser on a stand that's on a cart so we can move it around and aim it at some different objects in the room. And come closer, you'll see that the ring stand here has a clamp on it that can adjust the laser that's in the, in the clamp. So you can move that around. I have a clothespin on there too so I can hold down the button on it without touching it. So when I put that on top of the button, it clamps down on it and it's turned on and can stay on during the demonstration. So I'm gonna have you turn the camera that way. And you'll see right now my laser dot's facing down there. I'm gonna have it facing towards the middle of the desk. And I'm gonna do a variety of tests in the middle of the desk. One will be on the table, uh, some will be on some other surfaces, and we'll take a look at what that does in just a moment. So for the sound unit, you wanna demonstrate that not only does the object bend, but it actually vibrates when an impact or a force is applied to it the force is applied and removed. Uh, so you'll want to apply sticky material to the surface of something like a drum that students know bends based on their slow motion videos so we can get evidence of what the laser dot does over here that's reflected off of it. As it vibrates. Well, I'm going to strike that and then I'll have you zoom in a little closer so you can show what that looks like. Maybe you can uh, zoom in a little bit. This is what students should see, not just that it moves, but that its motion might go up and down above the point at which it started. And that's something that if you can capture in slow motion, could be useful too to analyze, to see if it bounces up and below, up and over the starting position. We're gonna do that for the table too. Far away, the further it is, the more deflection you'll see, uh, and the shallower the angle of the light against the mirror, the more deflection you'll see. I have the mirror here taped down, reflective mirror on the surface of the table, and over there, laser dot of it is against this piece of paper. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop something on the table that's relatively heavy. I'm gonna give it a strike like this. To make a sound, and we're gonna see what, there's evidence of vibration up close on the dot.